Hello, my name is Priscilla and I'm the Children's Peace Formation Coordinator on On Earth Peace. Today I'll be reading When the Shad Bush Blooms by Carla Messinger. This book is about the Lenape seasons. Let's begin. My whole family lives close to the land and to each other through the cycle of the seasons. Now the season is when the shadfish return moon. My grandparents' grandparents walked beside the same stream where I walk with my brother and we can see what they saw. Deer leap in the woods, hawks fly in circles overhead, frogs splash and turtles sun themselves. See, and these are their ancestors and this is them currently. In early spring, when the shad bush blooms like a white lace veil, we go fishing. Dad smiles when my brother or I catch a shad. We roast the fish and everyone enjoys it, especially the dog. The season is grass and geese moon, planting moon. When the deer shed their winter coats and geese honk on the pond, dad and my brother clear the land for our garden. Mom and I sing as we plant the corn and the baby coos shaking her rattle. This season is heartberry moon. When the berries ripen, dangling like tiny hearts, we go berry picking. My brother and I race to see who can pick the fastest. The baby tastes her first berries. Her smeared face makes me laugh. Now the season is bees moon. When the air hums with the wings of bees, my brother and I chase the crows from our garden. Together we gather honey. My brother ducks when a bee buzzes too close. I lick from one finger a drop as sweet as summer. Now this season is moon of roasting ears of corn. When tall stalks rustle and the ears of corn have grown fat, we roast corn with our friends. While grandma carefully takes her corn off the cob, I gobble mine fast. The baby plays with a new doll and my brother scores a goal for his team. Now this is grasshoppers moon season. When grasshoppers patter in the fields and the evenings echo with insect song, we enjoy the autumn harvest. Mom finds a pumpkin so big she can hardly carry it. Grandma shows the baby a beautiful gourd. My brother and I catch grasshoppers. Now the season is the deer hair turns gray moon, falling leaves moon. When the leaves fly like red and yellow wings and nuts tumble from the trees, dad makes the house snug and warm before cold weather. My brother and I break a huge pile of leaves and jump in. This season is the falling moon season. When gray skies drop flakes that glitter like falling stars, my brother and I climb the hill. Grandpa gives us a push at the top and we fly down. The dog races after us barking. Now this season is the cold makes the trees crack moon. When the days grow short and trees creak and crack with the cold, grandma mends our winter clothes and grandpa tells us all stories. While we settle in, mom fixes a snack. I asked to hear my favorite story twice. The season is ground squirrels run moon. When ground squirrels dig in the drifts of snow 
and birds perch on frozen branches, the boys start a snowball fight with the girls. Mom stocks the house with food. My brother and I remember to share with the animal people. This season is frogs begin to croak moon. When spring peepers chirp, their froggy songs, we go on a trip with grandma to gather maple sap. The baby tastes her first spring treat. I talk to a frog on a tree trunk. Then we go back to when the shadfish return moon season. As the seasons circle around once more, my brother and I walk to the stream. We watch for the shad bush to bloom again as my grandparents' grandparents did. And now at the back of this book, it talks more about the Lenape people and their seasons. It says, unlike the European calendar, which assigns a fixed number of days to each month, sun, moon, and the natural world have always guided the Lenape people's lives. For countless generations, they have followed the cycles of fishing, hunting, planting, tending gardens, and taking in the harvest. They named each cycle, each moon, for a significant aspect of nature, and each cycle brings in particular tasks and special pleasures. For today's reflective question, I want you to think about which season is your favorite. And during that season, what kind of activities that your family does and why those activities are special to you. I hope you enjoyed reading this story with me. Until next time, goodbye.